here. Let's go over it. It's a real cheap file you can purchase. I'll use some good sandpaper and a bit of block. Just want to get it flat. The rest of the two. <laughs> Simple shoe repair. Um, you don't understand that you can do simple things to repair your shoe. I mean, number one, you can use glue. I don't. I can't say how many times I have glued stuff back, or whether with a crack, I would fill it in with glue or some type of a, adhesive of, or some gasket maker or something just to fill the hole in them. Take some um, semi-gloss spray paint, spray over it, and it's fine. In some cases, the repair is so bad uh, you have to toss it. But in this recent case, the bootstrap came off. I was, I was asked to come in, check it out to see if I could do anything with it. And I don't have a lot of time anymore, you know. And <clears throat> depending on the situation, I may go, I may not go. In this case, I was sent a picture. And I thought, this is a simple fix. Needle and thread, and it's over. Well, in this case, this was a... Um, rain boot strap that came off of one of the boots and through, through um, close to that examination this was sewn on with the machine and just needed to be reattached getting the right color thread which was um, already there and I had a ruler to help me um, push the needle through and the block of wood um, was in place so when I did push the needle through I didn't damage the other side of the boot so the block of wood was basically to give me um, something to push on to keep the needle from going through the other side of the boot or, the dam or damaging the table or the countertop but I took my needle and my thread in this case I needed something strong and thin and I had an assortment of needles someone gave to me <laughs> a while back and um, it's nice to be nice to people you know you get stuff but I I had a collection of needles and I uh, found the one that fits perfect it had to be strong it had to be thin to be able to um, get in and out so what I did was uh, I put my block of wood inside I threaded my needle I lined up my strap and I got my needle pushed through from inside the boot first. Got it up and um, I would weave it back through and I made sure my strap stayed lined up. That's another important thing to make sure it stays where it's supposed to be. So it's not all over the place. And I would take my needle from the top and take my ruler, my wooden ruler, and use it for, to keep from damaging my fingers. <laughs> and push the needle back through and I would use the wood to uh, apply pressure on the needle coming from the inside. And I would push down on it, it would not damage the other um, side of the boot. But it's just basically weaving in and out. And it was a brown, um, I think it was a light brown. Um, I thought, well, if I take a machine and do this because the strap was thick and the uh, material on the boot was thick, Trying to take a normal machine and trying to throw this back on may destroy your machine or bend the needle or cause something to go out of whack. So I didn't think that was a good idea. But this simple fix took 10-15 uh, minutes at the most.